Okay, welcome back to my Bostonish little area. We are not going to tour that way. Now we've already looked through this little, not quite mansion over here. We'll go look at that one a little bit later. Going down here to waterfront area. Want something that looked like a dock kind of warehousey place. There's some more stuff in the distance. We'll keep growing that. I want to make a boarding house more than a hotel. Lots of stuff ends up being like opulent. So I want to make something a little more, I don't know, something that would be on the docks where the dock workers and the captains would rent a room. So looked at some pictures of some old Boston boarding houses. Came up with this kind of shape here. Wanted to have a pitched roof with the dormers there. Go up there a little bit. And then I felt like a widow's walk kind of area of around on top would be period appropriate. And you can get into this a few different ways. So there is a general store there, and I don't think I've actually put anything in there at all. I haven't yet. And then these doors here do lead to the boarding house there. You can also get to it by going from the front doors on the other side. So that goes into a basement area that I've never actually finished there yet. I thought it was interesting that that already existed. So we gotta make some kind of cool secret thing there. Wanted there be some sort of porch type area. Lots of hills in Boston, so I didn't want to flatten everything out. So here we go. Rooms available. I even put a sign there. No, no, we'll go far more. So I can't talk too long. All right. Wanted to go something a little more I don't know, kind of that brothel kind of feel almost. So put the pattern on the wall, red walls, some nice couches. This first room here, there, there's a water closet on that side, and the rooms all have numbers. I'm not sure there's even certainly rooms that need going more than others, but it did furnish everything. So I'm not sure why that's there. We do have like a simple bed and a chest and that's about it and then you have a shared bathroom because it's a boarding house and that's going to go outside the area so we have our little mini sitting area here and then uh, we've got our bathroom here our shared bathroom there whatever as faucets and then that goes out the other hall as well if i go over here there is oh, sorry <laughs> A dining area that people can share over here. So we have the shared dining space on the main level, and we have a large kitchen for the whole boarding house. And then we have a refrigerator there. We go over to this space. shared space here with some more rooms all numbered all pretty similar on purpose we've got some storage underneath the stairs and we have stairs going up to more levels that's, about it. that's the door to the general store area and the outside so i go up to the other levels here wanted to try a different color scheme so the rooms are still numbered stairs there and again the rooms are going to be really similar on purpose there is a shared bathroom and a bathroom as well i think the rooms are all pretty equal some are a little bit bigger than others like corner rooms and things like that Ooh. go over here i've got a bathroom well isn't that embarrassing i'm not sure what happened Figure out what's looking at. So over here, more halls, more numbered. Here's the WC. We've got divided stalls and sinks. We've got a shower room up here. So the shower room, shower walls, bathroom. I don't know what happened. Scenario. Looks like I have tried to be 
no two trees up there. So let's just admit that sometimes things aren't perfect and let's go upstairs and figure out what happened. I did my stairs to go upstairs over here. Let's go upstairs here. This is the third floor. A little different feel up here. Different colors again. These rooms are actually suites. So that's the other suite. And then we have the Clancy suite. I don't know why I named these a little bit. Dang them. Shoreline suite. So we've got different feel. We've got a little loft up here. And we've probably got a bathroom back here. Bathroom. Yep. And one of these are leaking heinously downstairs. So if I go here. Come on, let me, let me out. Oh, that's why. So I'll be just floor watching. Oh my God. Let me in. Okay, so over here little kitchen space in this one, bathroom back here, and here's the, the bedroom area over there, another lost space in that one as well, so if we go back out, I have these stairs right here, I'm guessing it's going to go to this if I remember right, and this is the top presidential suite if you will, so we've got kitchen space over here these are in the dormers another bathroom area and then this door is missing we've got balconies out here lightning rods and I've got stairs going up to the outside veranda and I've got um, trap doors that work to close that off if it was raining necessarily little sitting area up here and you've got views of mansion and of pirate ships and future of Boston that over there is the actual construction of Paul Revere's house. So we'll do that some other time.